Hypothetical testing, plugging in, and working backwards are the top three most important strategies to know for the SAT math. So hypothetical testing and when to use it. When you have no concrete number to work with, you want to use hypothetical testing. You want to make up a number so the problem becomes easier. Let's take this problem over here, for example. A box is filled with red, white, and blue balloons. The probability of selecting a red balloon is one half. The probability that the balloon is white is one sixth. Now the question is saying if all the blue balloons are removed from the box, what is the probability of selecting a white balloon? Throughout this problem, it never tells me the number of balloons in this box. And that's when hypothetical testing comes in. We can make up a number for uh, the balloon. So let's make it 12. I can make this 10, I can make this 8, you know, I can really make it anything, but I want to make up a number so it's easy to work with. If I make it 12, it's easy to take a sixth of 12. It's easy to take a half of 12. If I made it 10, it'd be tough to take a sixth of 10. It would give me, you know, not a nice number to work with. So that's why I made it 12. Very important to make it easy for yourself. Make numbers that are easy to work with. So if I have 12 balloons in total, and it's saying that the probability is one half of selecting a red one, then that means that there must be six red balloons because half of 12 is six now there's one six that are white that would mean that there's two one six of 12 is two so there's two white and so if there's six red two white then you know you can just assume that there's four six plus two is eight and then four would be blue because that'd be the leftover to add up to 12. now it's saying all of the blue balloons are removed from the box so these are all gone at that point what is the probability of selecting a white balloon at this point, I'm left with just these. Probability, I need the total number of possibilities or total number of things, and that's the total number of balloons right now I have is eight. And out of the eight, two are white. So my probability of selecting a white balloon out of what I'm left with is one fourth. This problem would work no matter what number you make over here. The only reason I made it 12 was because it's easy to work with give it a shot make it you know make it a different number make it 24 make it a multiple of six to make your life easy but it'll definitely work out so the problem never told me the number of balloons in total and hence i made it up and that's hypothetical testing let's do one last example so this one very common the price of a jacket goes up by 20 percent and the new price is then discounted by 10 percent the final price is what percent of the original price whenever i'm dealing with percents and i don't have a concrete number to work with 100 is my go-to number. 100 makes everything with percents that much easier. So now if I know the price of the jacket is 100 bucks, the price goes up by 20%. So 20% of 100 is $20. So my new price is going to be $120. Now it's saying the new price, which is $120, is then discounted by 20, 10%. So 10% of 120 is $12. So that's how much the 120 is discounted by. So it'll be 120 minus 12. And I got 12 by doing 10% of 120, and that gives me $108. So my price, at, my price of the jacket at this point is $108. The question is saying the final price, which is 108, is what percent of the original price? The answer here is gonna be 108% because the final price is 108% of 100. The answer is not important right now. The technique and how I'm coming up with the answer is more important. So it never tells me the price of a jacket. I make the price up for the jacket and I can compute whatever it's telling me to. 